shall turn to you for a testimony. Is your year of turning point. Amen. This year, things are going to turn for good. Amen. Things are going to turn for your testimony. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, what? how are you going to handle this word? He said, you have tarried round about this mountain for too long. Turn! So, you look at that the aspect of your life. And your destiny that looked as if you have been at one spot. You see, this year there must be a turning in this area. I hear what I say. Maybe your financial life, your spiritual life have been at one spot, turning in a circle. Lord, I have entered my turning point year, my year of turning point. I cannot be going around the same cycle. I have to turn and make progress. God is going to turn things around in your finance. Turn things around in your family. Why? It is your turning point season. In the name of Jesus Christ. So hold on to this scripture. He said, these people were, they just came to one mountain. I, I, I just wonder how they did that thing. Which means they were physical, they were both physically and spiritually blind. Because if I'm going around this building, I should be able to see this thing as a landmark. When I come again, I saw, I saw this thing when I passed. But they kept on going on. God was watching them. Going on. God said, if I leave these people, they will die in this situation. He said, turn and move. Your journey must not stop here. So I don't know the area of your life. It looks as if you have been turning. Year in, year out. Year in, year out. Tell God this year, it will not be the same. Say amen. amen. It will not be the same. It's a turning point, something, something drastic, something that will happen that people know that God has visited this person. That's a kind of that is a turn, turning point we are talking about. Something will happen, people that used to know you, they say, No, it's not this person, it's still you, but something has happened to you. God has remembered you, God has visited you, God has intervened in your case. It's a turning point. Help me look at your neighbor and say it's your turning point here. This is your year of the turning point. Something, some, something is going to turn around you drastically. That will change people's mind about you. Change people's testimonies about you. It's your year of the turning point. Things will turn in your family. Things will turn in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. First Corinthians. Let's look at these few, few things this morning as a way of starting the year this morning we are looking at um, just briefly be intentional be what intentional. be intentional about the year 2023 be what intentional be what intentional help me look at your neighbor say be intentional be intentional be intentional about the year 2023. Somebody say a good amen. First Corinthians chapter number 9, briefly, verse 24. First Corinthians 9, 24. Know ye not that, that that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. May you be the one to receive the prize this year. So run that ye may obtain. And, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. 26. I dare for so wrong, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beat the air. 27. But I keep under my body and bring it under into subjection. Least that by any means, when I preach to others, I myself should be what? A castaway. Somebody say, God forbid. I will not preach to others and be a castaway. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 5. Quickly. Ephesians chapter number 5. Verse 14. Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give the light 15 
see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil somebody say amen, amen. be intentional about 2023 glory be to god i say glory be to god this morning i want you to know that nothing just happens nothing what nothing just happens if anything and anywhere something has ever happened positively or negatively somebody is behind it are you gonna say anywhere you see something happening or something has happened or something is going to happen there is a hand behind it there is a personality behind it there is an idea behind it there is an opinion behind it there is a force behind it so when we say be intentional about the year don't wait for things to happen on their own because they might never happen you make certain choices this year make certain decisions personal decision nobody preached you into it nobody cajoled you into it you just sit down and take settings i mean make certain decision that's why i say be intentional you know we live in the in the part of the world where we believe in mysticism that's why most of the time say god works in a mysterious way we also we always believe things must be mysterious Things must happen mysteriously. Not this year. Don't wait for anything to happen mysteriously. Make, make things happen practically around you. Make things happen how? Practically around. Be intentional about the year. Don't just watch. Don't just wait for things to happen. Don't watch things happen. Make things happen. Touch your neighbor and say, make things happen this year make things happen in your business make things happen in your finance make things happen in your family make things happen in your spiritual life make things happen in the kingdom of god this year be intentional just make a choice make up your mind that this 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 are the things or the path i will do in 2023 and god will back you up i say god will back you up i say god will back you up god will back you up, will back you up. now what few areas that you need to be intentional about this year first you must be intentional about your time management be intentional about what no wasting of time this year no what wasting of time why we have heard again that time is money time is what money time is everything time is an asset don't waste your time I want you to invest your time. That is the first area you must be intentional. It's either you are resting with the time or you are you are you are you are you are using it for your spiritual making investment spiritually with your time or you are making financial investment with your time or you are making good investment with your time not wasting it. Don't engage don't waste your time. The first area you need to be intentional is the use of time or management of your time let me quickly say this and i think i i did that arithmetic for you some times ago when we we're teaching on the wisdom from the book of roots i say if you check now 12 midnight this today to 12 midnight december 2023 destiny or your destiny your life have been accredited with 8,760 hours. How many hours? 8,760 hours have been given to everybody. The rich, the poor, the tall, the short, the black, the white, the children, the adult. Every one of us, life has credited to you. How many hours? 8,760 hours you have to run this year, to spend. That, that have been put in your destiny bank account. It's not like somebody wires money into your account. You receive the alert. 1 million, 2 million, 100 million. Destiny has wired 8,760 hours into your destiny account. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. I said it has wired 52, 
525,600 minutes into your destiny account. And he has wired 31 million three hundred five hundred and thirty six thousand seconds into your account you see that everybody that is alive whether a little child the ones they delivered 12 midnight today or yesterday they have the same credit in their account the question is that what will make the difference at the end of the year is what how is being managed? Glory be to God. How is being managed? The first area you need to be intentional about is your time management. And let me quickly say this for the sake of time this morning, this brief service, that if you are going to manage your time well, you must manage your mind well. If you are going to manage your time well, you must do what? Manage your mind well. Manage your emotion well. Manage your psychology well. See, where you don't manage your mind well, you don't manage your time well. You got to learn mind management to be able to do what? Manage time well. Because the first area I need to be intentional is my time management. You wake up every day, you must have a goal, you must have a target, and you must put time. There must be time tagged, you don't just waste the time, and you must not permit time wasters around you. There are people that their ministry is what? Waste time. Hallelujah. There are people that their assignment is what? Time wasting. You must not connect with those people. Make sure that every minute counts. Do you hear what he said? Glory be to God. What did he say? He said that in a race, everyone runs. In a race, what happened? Everyone runs, but they run to obtain the prize. May you obtain the prize this year. I say may you obtain the prize this year. And he got where we read from in the book of Ephesians. He said, Walk ye circumspectly as the wise, not as fools, redeeming the time, for the days are evil. Redeeming the time, for the days are evil. That is the first area you need to do what? Manage. I mean, be intentional about manage your time. There's a time to sleep, there's a time for recreation. This is the time to do this. This is the time for church. This is the time for work. This is the time to, to talk to the parents, um, to talk to the children. This is the time to do this. You allocate the time where. And I believe God that as you do that, you see radical turn around. Can you say amen? amen? Number two, which number two area I need to be intentional about this year is my health. Somebody say my health. Health is what wealth they say. Your health. Your health. Every one of us, including myself standing here, every one of us need to take care of our health. Why? When your health breaks down, every other thing comes to a standstill. When you are very sick, can you go out for business? No. Be intentional about your health. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I say glory be to God. <laughs> be intentional about your health. We're about starting fasting tomorrow, remember. I told them, please, get me honey. But when we stretch the fast, I will not just leave it like that. I will look for a way. You know, there's a, a technique you handle fasting. Some of us will just finish fasting. We just can carry one solid food and start eating. No, 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 no. no. It's not, it's, 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 that is not, the, it's, it's not wisdom. There's a way to break fast. Especially if it's a stretch fast. Be intentional about your health this year. Make sure you take care of your health. Don't play with your health. Don't say, I will manage. If you are, your health is challenging you, make sure you repeat. If you are working under somebody, let them know. Don't say, I will manage. Don't manage it this year. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
please are you hearing what i'm saying this morning be intentional about taking care of your health be intentional about your health glory be to god there are some places they say they don't believe in medical science in this place we believe in medical science the one your faith cannot carry seek medical help it's not a sin church are you hearing what i'm saying if you like don't respond but that is the truth amen, amen. i say amen, amen. Your, your health is being challenged you, your faith is not adequate enough to handle it and just maybe a, a, a little medical cancer just a short five minutes ten minute, minutes medical cancer will take care of that whole thing you put yourself on that unnecessary pressure until it becomes emergency that will not be your testimony this year Take care of your health. Take care of your health. You begin to feel somehow hold on to the word of God. Your faith cannot carry it. Seek medical help. Listen to me. Medical science knowledge is not a demonic knowledge. It was God that brought it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Be intentional about taking care of your health. Don't leave your health careless. Amen. 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 And it's not just any anything you see you take to take you drink to take care of your health be intentional about your health take care of your health why we need strong body to run through this year you need energy and you know that anytime you are sick you will, you will be weak nothing works in the hand of a sick man so be intentional about your health don't play with your head this year. Don't play with your head this year. Help me look at your neighbor and say, be intentional about your health. Be intentional about your health. Very, very important. Don't say, let's see, let me manage it. Uh, God is in control. The, even the statement the person is making, say, uh, making, you know that there's no faith. He's not even saying what he's saying by faith. Because God will take control and you don't have faith. So how will God take control? Why? Because the language of God is the language of faith. And let me quickly tell you something. The first medicine you give attention to what this year is what? The word of God. The word of God is a medicine. That's what he told us in the, in the word, in the book of Proverbs chapter number four. He said, my son, do not depart from my word. Keep your, my word in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. And their word, medicine to their body. The first way to keep healthy is to give attention to the word of God. Please be intentional about your health this year. Glory be to God. I was, I was with a friend and he shared with me what happened in their office. An oil company. Listen to me. Not that they don't pay them very well. I'm talking about oil company. I don't, I don't want to mention the name of the company. One of the leading oil companies in, in town. And a young man went to work went to rig and all of that and sustain this thing and sustain injury as he came back just to go and take tetanus injection he carelessly it doesn't matter do you know that he left that thing by the time the issue rises before they could handle that issue he passed on as simple as just tetanus injection because of the injuries to avoid bacteria and infection as simple as it, this one is not money because it works in an oil company the company has a clinic this one is mere word carelessness you do hear the scripture we read in efficient he said work ye circumspectly as the wise not as fools redeeming the time for the days are evil carelessness hallelujah he lost his life he lost his job and left his family just because of just simple step help me look at your neighbor say be intentional about your health this year be intentional about your health the next place that be intentional about your spiritual life be what intentional about your spiritual life give attention be intentional that this year my spiritual life must take a leap i have i have i have 
I've, I've run around the same mountain in my prayer life, in my study life, in my word life, in my praise life, in my worship life for too long. I need to move forward. Are you understand? Be intentional about your spiritual life. Like I said, maybe your goal this year, your vision this year could be to finish Bible. I hear some people, even pastors, at times preach. I don't like talking about pastors, but at times we just make some of those careless statements. It's not about finishing Bible. Please, if your vision is to finish Bible, it's not bad. I say it's not what? And I hear some people preach and they say it's not by finishing, it's not by reading from Genesis to Revelation. Brothers and sisters, it it, it, it matters also and it's also important. It could be your vision this year that I will read my Bible cover to cover from Genesis to Revelation. Be intentional about the word of God. That I will not just carry Bible, I don't know what is, saying, uh, what is inside. I will not just carry Bible, I cannot interpret. I cannot carry Bible that is not benefiting me. Be intentional about the word of God. Then be intentional about your prayer life. You cannot remain a prayer dwarf for years. Been born again 10 years. Be born again 5 years. Be, be going to church now for 15 years. Yet up to now you can't pray for 15 minutes every day. No, be intentional. That I'm going to move my prayer life from this level to this level. Be intentional about it. So what, let me tell you something about being intentional. Anytime God finds out that you are intentional about something, he supplies the grace. He gives you the grace to make it work. Be intentional about your spiritual life. And your spiritual life includes what? Your prayer life, your word life, your fasting life. Tomorrow we begin fasting. Six to six. We meet during command your money. We meet in the evening. In the afternoon, take it to talk to God personally. We meet in the morning. We meet in the evening. We meet in the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Except Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays, we meet only in the evening. Be intentional. Some people have not fasted. Some people now, by the time they fast, nine o'clock, they are yawning. Oh, 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 uh -uh, as if they want to die. Be intentional about your fasting life. Do you know? Let me tell you something. Do you know that fasting is good for the body system? I hope you know. Medically, it has been proved. It has been proven that fasting is good for the body. Yes, medically. Though having a lot of spiritual benefit, but medically also it has benefits. Be intentional. Then be intentional about your worship life. Praise. Let your mouth be full of thanksgiving this year. Let your mouth be full of praise to God. Don't take anything for granted. Be intentional. Make up your mind to take your spiritual level, your spiritual life to the next level. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Are, we, are we together this morning? Then be intentional about your family life. Your marriage, your children, your husband, your wife, your relations, your in-laws, your outlaws, and all of that. Glory be to God. Be intentional about your family life. Be intentional about your family life. Family is everything. Family is everything. Why? God is a family God. Be intentional about your family life. That nothing will come in. Um, um, uh, no, you will not permit crisis to come in and, and scatter your family. That every member of the family will be carried along this year. Your husband will be carried along. Your wife will be carried along. The children will be carried along. Everything that has to do with the family. Be intentional that your home will work this year. Be intentional that your family will prosper this year. Be intentional that your family will live in peace this year. Peace does not just jump into the family. People create the atmosphere of peace in homes. And I declare that your home will be peaceful this year. Oh, somebody are you in church say good amen this morning. Amen. Be intentional about your family life. Then you are going to live a sincere family life. There are some husbands that are not sincere. If you are, if you are making, if you have it as a vision or new year resolution, anyone you choose, I want you to make up your mind that you be a better husband this year. Not a cheating husband. Not a deceptive husband. Not a husband that does not care. Like I said the other time, there are some fathers that are at home, yet their impact are not felt. This year, make up your mind that as a father, my wife will feel my impact. My, my children will feel my impact. Everyone around me will feel my impact. Glory be to God. As a wife, the same thing. That your impact will be felt in your home. 
Your children will feel your impact. Your husband will feel your impact. Everyone connected to you, as well as family is concerned, will feel your impact. Glory be to God. Children, the same thing. Make sure that your parents will feel your impact. Positive impact. Very crucial. Be intentional about your family life. Not crisis here and all of that fighting and, 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 and quarreling and they're separating you people and all of that and all of that. That will not be your testimony. I say that will not be your testimony. That will not be your testimony. Your family will be peaceful. Your family will be happy. Your family will be prosperous. Your family will be healthy. Your family will be joyful. Your family will be fruitful. I say your family will be fruitful. There will be money in your family this year. They run the family vision. Be intentional that things will work in your family. Stop all this hiding. You are doing something. You are hiding for your wife. You are doing something. You are hiding for your husband. How 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 do you how do you equate that scripture that says that two has become one? You are hiding this one, you are hiding this one, you are hiding this one, you are hiding. Then when crisis breaks breaks out, you know, stories start coming out from here and here and here. No. Let us be transparent. Let's be intentional about our families. Why? God is a family God. And I say something. Anytime family is working, he has a way of affecting every other aspect of life. And anytime family is not working, he has a way of what? Affecting other aspects of life. Somebody say amen. amen. Are, we, are we sharing the word of God this morning? Now be intentional about your finances. Be intentional about your, your financial life. Be intentional about your financial life. Glory be to God. There's a prayer I told you that I've been praying I started praying it and I, I think it's good. If you read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 9, it says God is the one that gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater and increases the seed soon. But he didn't say anything about the bread. So which means when I eat bread, it ends there. I have to look for another one. But when I plant a seed, what have I done? I've created, I've created a system for it to work to multiply. God does not multiply bread. God multiply what? The seed. Not only the seed, the seed sown. You can have a seed, but you don't sow it. Read that Corinthians very well. Second Corinthians, go back home, take time and read it. Say, God give it what? Bread to the eater. He give it seed to the soul. So, which means anytime you, 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 place, you place your life on bread alone, that's what we'll be having. And bread does not multiply. Which means anytime you need it, you pray. You keep on compassion. Oh God, give me this. Oh God, give me this. But when you understand the seed system, when you understand the seed system, it does not require prayer. You sow it. It will do what? It will multiply. And listen. Listen, look up here. Every money that enters your hand, there is a seed and there is a bread inside of it. It's now you. It's not left for you. To be intentional that I will remove my seed and sow, and I will use my bread to eat. When you do that, you set a cycle. The, the bread you eat it, it will finish, but the seed sown will generate more seeds and more bread for you. Be intentional about your finance. Be intentional. Don't wait for anybody to cajole you. Pay to, of course, we don't overflow the issue of tithing in this ministry and giving, but we teach you to know. And what was the prayer before I forget? I've been praying, Lord, this year, I need more seed to sow. Give me seed to sow. Why? Because I know that my prosperity and my abundance is not in my bread. My prosperity and my abundance is what? In my seed sown. Let it be your prayer. Be intentional. Be intentional about your finance this year. Glory be to God. I don't care what they are forecasting about the economy. One, remember what I said. There are two parallel economies running. God has his own economy. It, it does not fail. The world has his own economy. We are not running the Nigerian economy. We are not running the world system. We are running the kingdom system. The kingdom system does not respect the climate. Glory be to God. Be intentional about your seed. Pray. Constantly ask God. Give me seed to sow. Be intentional. Why? 
<laughs> listen to me and listen to me. The Bible says money answered all things. Which means, which means when there's no money, questions will rise in your life like mountain. Money is an answer. Money offers answer. I hear people say, money is not everything. Money is not everything. Brothers and sisters, as far as this earth is concerned, everything, virtually everything is directly or indirectly connected to money. Let nobody tell you anything. As far as this earth, I'm talking about this earth, this earth we are in, virtually everything is what directly or indirectly connected to money. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Be intentional about your money. Be intentional about your seed. Let money should not enter your hand and you just think of all your needs alone. When money enters your hand this year, the first thing you think about is what? Let me get my seed outside, out of this money. Because if you take the money and eat everything, glory be to God, you eat your seed, there's nothing that will multiply. Be intentional. Help me tell your neighbor, be intentional about your finances. This year. And you will multiply. You multiply. Remember what God told us last night. There's a dimension of money coming to somebody that you have not handled before. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. God has released that word over our lives. Get ready to handle it this year. I said, get ready to handle that. He said, that's God. God said, he's bringing a, a dimension of wealth that your hand has not handled before. Which means if your hand has not touched one million before, it's coming this year. If it has not touched 10 million before, it's coming this year. If it has not touched 100 million before, it's coming this year. If it has not touched one billion before, it's coming this year. Can you shout a better amen? amen? It's coming. Be intentional about your finance. Not just do and say, I want this thing they are preaching. No, be intentional. I used to tell people, don't come, bring, I mean, grow your Christian life where there are certain things they don't need to tell you. Nobody needs to tell you about seed sowing. Nobody needs to tell you about blessing your parents, paying your tithe, giving to the kingdom of God. And one of the things, one of the prayers you need to pray again, I'll give you the first prayer point. The first prayer point, God, this year, give me seed to sow. Do what? It should be your prayer. And God will do that. I say, God, we do that. Amen. I prayed that prayer this December and I saw the result. Or December, December that passed. Every morning I say, God, give me seed to sow. The first day God tried me. Praise God. <laughs> the first day He tried me. You know, see, God answers prayer. That same week God tried me. And I say, God, I know it is not trial. I'm already in partnership with you. When He came, I just have to. I, I said, I prayed for the seed. God brought a heart to sow. As you pray it, it will come. As you ask God for seed this year, as you constantly ask God for seed, money will be coming into your hand. But let me tell you something. God will just stay like this and be watching you. When he comes, say, hey, hey, come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh, I've done, oh, this one, I've not done 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 this one. God will just be watching you. Instead of saying, Father, thank you. This one, this one, this one is a seed for the kingdom. Then this one is my bread to meet my need. God will just be watching you. As you pray again, he will give you. You spend it. A time will come when you pray, that prayer will not be answered. Why? He kept his own side of the covenant. You have refused to keep your own side of the covenant. Somebody say amen. amen. Finally, be intentional about your associations this year. Be what? Intentional about the associations this year. First Corinthians chapter number 15, verse 33. What did he say? He said, Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. Be what? Be not deceived. Evil communication. Be intentional. How many of you, how many of, how many of us went our, 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 uh, to my site and to our church um, site during the week? So that okay, let's go to that scripture. There's a scripture I posted there. How many of us read it? Go to Second Timothy. Let me show you something. Timothy, quickly. Thank you, Abba Father. Are you getting something this morning before we share the communion? This communion is communion of what life and strength. You will not be weak, you will not cave in this year. Hallelujah. I wish somebody will say amen. amen. Communion of what? 
Yes. Look at verse number 11 of second. I posted this and I made a prophecy over this. Um, I made a prayer with this scripture. Are you there? Second Timothy 4, 11. Are you there? Yes. Want to read? Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee. For he is profitable to me for ministry. This is the kind of association you will build this year. People that are profitable to your vision. People that are profitable to your marriage. People that are profitable to your ideas. People that are profitable. Disconnect from people. Look at, look at the next one. Look at, look at verse 14. Everyone read verse 14. Verse 14. Read. Want to read? Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his work. Disconnect from Alexander the coppersmith. Join yourself to what? John Max. Are you understand? People that will discourage you, do you evil, hurt your emotion, hurt your marriage, hurt you in business. Disconnect from them. Be intentional about your association this year. Be intentional about who you connect with. Don't tell me that we are schoolmates. Don't tell me we are, from, we are from the same local government. It doesn't matter. When God wants to bless you, he doesn't need somebody from your local government to bless you. He doesn't even need your blood brother to bless you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He will just do his own thing. Be intentional about your association this year. Who do I bring into my vision? Who do I connect with? Look at Paul. Paul began to... After, listen, remember that 2 Timothy was the last book that Paul wrote before Emperor Nero beheaded him. This was the last book he wrote. And he was giving report of what happened to him in ministry. He said that he had to... He was with Luke. Glory be to God. Let me, let me, let's, he said, only Luke is with me. Why Luke? Luke was a medical doctor. All those beating they used to beat Paul is not only prayer. Luke we administer drugs. Those of you that say uh, our ministry and uh, they say we should not take drugs is, is sin. I will go to hell. No drug will take you to hell. You didn't hear what I said. Why did Paul send other ministry partners to go? He kept Luke. Have you asked yourself? He said only Luke is with me. Why Luke? Luke was a medical doctor by profession. Do you know that they, they beat Paul? Beat Paul, they will injure Paul. They will use Roman people will beat him in some cities. He will be bleeding. Luke will have to go and look for medicine to do what? To treat his body. And so he kept Luke. Let others go. Don't go. Stay with me. You need to take care of my health. Luke will make recommendation. Paul, for Paul to look at Timothy and say, Timothy, this stomach you are complaining. Take a little wine. Who gave Paul idea? Is Paul a medical doctor? Luke that was with him. He might maybe Luke has prescribed. <laughs> Luke has prescribed <laughs> prescribed that drug for him. Now when he was writing to Timothy, he said, Timothy, when stomach worried me, this is the way I treated it. Also do the same thing. I want you to when you are reading Bible, you need to allow the Holy Spirit to remember. Why did he keep Luke? He kept Luke because Luke was a medical doctor to take care of his health. Then you, some pastors say, no, eh, be bragging. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Where you are living, mosquito is biting you every day. You say, eh, eh, I cannot be sick. I can, eh, my malaria will not. Please, leave, stop. Be, take care of your health. Praise God. <laughs> take care of your health. Are you what I'm Are you getting what I'm saying this morning? Very important. Some... Appreciate what I'm saying. It will help you this year. Before go to the communion, be intentional about your association. Look at Mark chapter number 2. This man was paralyzed. His friends looked at him and said, this is our friend. We can't be running, doing businesses and our friend is paralyzed. And they have that Jesus came into Capernaum. They, they, they prepared themselves. They said, we we'll suspend all our business today. All our businesses today. Let's help our friend. They carried their friend on their shoulder. When he got to the room where Jesus was preaching, what happened? There was no room. They said, no worry. Go and get a ladder. They climbed the roof. They, they roofed the place. Carried the man up there and brought him by all means. These are right associations. People that will make sure that by all means you succeed. Not the people that, not the little one you are doing, they are envy you and they want to kill you. Be intentional about your association. Why? I said last night when we came here that 
no association lift, leaves any man neutral. Any association you involve yourself in either takes you up or brings you down. He, does, he cannot leave you neutral. Be intentional about the association. No matter your profession, are you a minister of the gospel? Are you a housewife? Are you a student? Are whatever thing you are doing, whatever business you are doing, be intentional about the association. And I believe God that this year that God said is our turning point, things will turn. Oh, that amen is not sounding like people that came to church. Maybe I'm talking to people online this morning. I said things will turn for you. And we turn with testimony, massive testimonies for you. Let's review our, our teaching this morning. Then we'll get to ready for the communion. One, I should be what? Intentional about what? My time. By what? My time. Time management. No waste of time. Any gossip environment disconnect. Wherever they are talking nonsense, people that gather to talk against men of God, disconnect. That is, you don't need it this year. Be intentional about what? Your health. Because health is wealth. Take care of your health. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I hope you know that when, when you are sick, your spirit is not sick. Your body is the one sick, but you cannot pray. Why? The temple of the Holy Spirit is what? Your body. So It's not like you pour, you pour wine inside, or you pour oil inside jerry can, and it's leaking. What happens? Very soon it will leak out. Why? There's nothing wrong with the oil, but something wrong with the container. So be intentional about your health. Be intentional about your time. Be intentional about your health. Be intentional about your, your spiritual life, your prayer, your study, your fasting, your worship life. Then the next one, be intentional about what? Your family life. Your family life. Take care of your family. Work together as one. Some people are married, but they are living as singles. No. Be intentional about your family. That family will work. Family, my family will work this year. Be intentional. Wife, play your role. Women, uh, husband, play your role. Children, play your role. And up we go. Be intentional about what is the next one? Be, be intentional about your finances. Know what is seed. Know what is bread. There's something I wanted to say about finance that I, 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 I it looks as if it escaped my mind. Let me now that the Holy Spirit reminded me. Let me tell you. Pray constantly. Lord, give me seed to sow. And when it comes, now sow. Two. Ask God, help me to always see opportunities to sow. There are opportunities that come that if you dive in, your life will go up. If you miss that opportunity, you will remain where you are. That's what the Bible wrote. Go and read it in the book of, in the book of Galatians chapter number 6. He said, don't be wary in well doing, for in due season. He, should, he said, as opportunities come, do good to them that are of the household of faith. Which means giving at times comes with an opportunity. Glory be to God. Are you going to say, all of a sudden there's an opportunity. Maybe there's a place that they, 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 they want to do something for the kingdom of God. And you see that as an opportunity. You grab it and plant your seed there. It's not a waste. You have just set a system. Seed system rolling in your life. So be intentional about your finance. And finally you say, be what? Be intentional about your association. He that walketh with the wise shall be wise. Hallelujah. Have I said something this morning? May the Lord bless you. It's your turning point yea. Let's take two scriptures as we take the communion quickly. Hallelujah. John chapter number 6. The communion scripture. is a communion of what? Life and strength. No weakness this year. No breakdown this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a communion of life. No death will be reported around you. you yourself, as you are partaking this communion, you will not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your, your life will be strong, fruitful, productive. Energized for victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you in John chapter 6? Look at verse number 54. Shall we read it together? Let's read verse 53 and 54. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink the blood, and the blood, ye have no life in you. Which means if I eat it, life comes. It's a communion of life. 
verse 54 whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life and i will raise him up at the last day hallelujah he that eateth not and drinketh not has no life but he that eateth and drinketh has my kind of life lord this is a communion of life lord i shall live i shall not die in 2023 from january to december my 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 life is my my my, my life is preserved i shall not see death no sickness will come to bring me to the place of death life is my pattern life is my 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 my, my focus i partake of the life of god in the name of jesus first kings 19 first kings 19 First Kings 19. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you there? I say hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's a long reading, but let me cut it short so that we can close. Verse 4. But he himself went a day's journey in the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree and he requested for himself that he might die. And he said, it is enough. Now, O oh Lord, take away my life. For I am not better than my fathers. This year you will go beyond your fathers. And as they laid and, and as he laid and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. Verse 6. And he looked, and behold, there was a, a cake baking on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and lay down and slept again verse 7 and the angel of the lord came again the second time and touched him and said rise and eat because the journey is too great for thee it's a great journey this year i say it's a great journey this year verse 8 and he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto horeb the mount of the lord somebody say amen before we go to the communion table, listen. The angel came and brought the food, brought the bread, the bread and the wine. Elijah did not collect it the first time. The Bible says he went back to do what? To sleep. But when the angel returned the second time, he took what? The bread. He took the wine. What happened? Strength came. As far as he has not eaten the bread, he remained weak, only sleeping. But when he took, what happened? Strength came. He came, he rose up, and did what? And went in the strength of that bread and that wine 40 days and 40 nights. Your own will take you 365 days this year. This communion you're about to take, this communion, I want you to have faith that your strength, you'll be strengthened mentally, physically, spiritually, everywhere. No, no breakdown, no dumb moments this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say no dumb moment. Amen. Remember that Elijah came to a point of frustration. He said, Lord, take my life. But when communion came, it was no longer take my life. He moved forward. You will go forward. Amen. I say 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 you will go forward. Please stand to your feet, everybody. Point your hand towards the communion this morning. Point your hand towards the communion, everybody. Rabata Shantalabaya. And you are pointing your hand towards the communion. You are also praying and declaring and speaking the word. Lord, thank you. Rabat This year, God, I receive grace to be intentional about my time. I will not waste my time. I will not waste my time. I will not connect with time wasters and destiny killers. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I receive grace to be intentional. Intentional about my family, about my health. I will not be careless 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 about my health. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be careless about my health. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not be careless about my health. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I take grace to be intentional about my finance. Lord, this year I may give, I may sow, I may, I'm an addict sower, I'm an addicted sower. I, I, I choose to be intentional about my association. Lord, wrong people will not come into my cycle, into my life, into my marriage, into my ministry, into my vision this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I choose to be intentional about my spiritual life, my prayer life, my study life, my fasting life, my, my worship life. Lord, thank you. I partake of life this morning. The life of God. The strength of God. I go in the might of this communion. I, I conquer 2023 in the might of this communion. I conquer 2023 in the might of this communion. Lord, thank you. We give you praise. Lord, we receive this miracle meal this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you because we see you do extraordinary.